trailers for sale or rent Rooms to let 50 cents No phone, no pool, no pets Ain't got no cigarettes ah, But two hours of pushing broom buys And eight or twelve four-bedroom I'm a man of means by no means King of the road Third box car, midnight train Destination banger, main Whoa, worn out suit and shoes I don't pay no All right, as you see we got our coupe in uh, primer We also got our LEDs looking good And you do want to tape those off when you You don't want to put primer on This is a uh, two part primer, it's very thick so our coupe's looking really good. We got all our stress cracks fixed on it. We got the imperfections from the factory mold fixed. And this thing's ready to wire and get running. So that's our next step. We're gonna hang all the doors and uh, the deck lid back on it. But uh, what we're really talking about today is over here. So we're really talking about this. This is the door that we had problems with that you can see through the door. And we went ahead and fiberglass set up yesterday. It's very ugly, and you people out there are probably saying that is one sloppy way to fix that. But that's actually the strongest way to fix it. Sometimes you gotta get ugly before you get pretty. So, Jeff's already started taking the pliers off, which he's got all of them off except for these two. And you don't have to worry about, uh, you don't have to worry about, it. you're not gonna break your fiberglass. Get those out of there. And if you notice, fiberglass will not stick to the tape. So, we're going to be looking good there. Get all those off, just like that. Then, we're going to go ahead and work our way on to getting the mess off of here. And when all this is done, it's going to look beautiful, and you'll never even know that it was fixed. You just gotta work your way around, get it all off, until it comes off. You guys any... Oh my god, I can't... Hold on a minute, dude. Hold on, I don't want you saying a word, I just don't want nothing said. Did you actually clean that off? Yeah. You wanna explain anything to us? Uh, whenever I uh, removed all the vice grips and stuff, I should've put tape on the inside. Yeah. It was a pain in my butt getting them wood slats off. But it off. came off. So, if Jeff can hold the camera there, there's a nice clean grip on that. Don't drop it. So, what Jeff did is that is actually looking really good. If you notice, you can see the light through. That's how much we had to build that door up. Now, Jeff also grinded this down to raw fiberglass, as you notice, right here. We went ahead and blocked it in, made ourselves a homemade jig. Filled it in with fiberglass just like we showed you. Now we're going to sand all that down. If you look right here, here Jeff has forward. nicely molded that for us with our grinder, which is right here. Now, I'm sure y'all don't have these type of tools at home. This is a professional body shop. So he took some 24 grit grinding disc and he went ahead and molded that back so it looks, you know, halfway normal. As you notice, we can close our door now, but. This is the gap that we want, because we want to keep that gap, and we want it all the way around. So what I did is I take some uh, three-quarter inch tape, I find my mark over here, and I get I pull the tape nice and tight, just like this, and I follow my body line all the way around. And I'm pushing on the tape as I'm going to nothing. Now, if you look real close, that's where we want. So what I do, so what I do is I go ahead and open the door up. And most times, this is a one-man job, so I take straps to, you know, I'm going to put that right there. That's going to hold my door so it won't move. Then I'm going to take my... Uh, DA sander with uh, 36 grit. 
And we don't want a lot of vibration on this. Even though that it's actually bonded together, it still might have a tendency to crack. And if you notice there were some air bubbles in it that we couldn't get out, we don't want to shift that any farther than we have to. We're going to have to fill that in with dining glass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand down to that line, the tape line that I put on the front side of this door. Now, I'm not going to stand all the way down. I'm going to stand partial way down, and I'm going to shut the door. I'm going to periodically check it to make sure that I don't take enough off, because we definitely don't want to have to go through that nightmare again. So what I do is I take my VA sander. to the tape line because I've done a dozen of these and I, I know you know how to do it. What I was trying to explain is on that tape line you want to go ahead and do it gradually in case you go too low. Now as you can see we got the door fitting very nicely in there. You can't see down inside it anymore. If you look at my flashlight here. Okay. You can't see the light coming through. You can't see inside there. There's one spot right here, and that's because there was an air pocket, but it'll it, once we fill that in. The rest of it looks very good, and I think we're going to do the finish the body work up on that, and we'll go ahead and finalize our body panels. We'll go ahead and install our LED lights. We'll get this baby ready for block for uh, primer. We still got to take care of our uh, spots down here. We're going to have to go over the whole car just like we did our coupe. And on this one, we're going to go ahead and before we paint it, because we want to go ahead and uh, paint the glue, so when you look at it, you don't see a black line here, the window will be flush mounted up to the paint. So I hope you enjoy what you've been watching. I hope this has helped you out a lot uh, to stop the frustration and anger that you're having on your fiberglass kit car. And don't be afraid to call me. My name's Pete at Southwest Rod and Custom at 972-420. 1293, or you can check out our website at southwestrodandcustom.com. So uh, let's get all this work done, and we're going to come back to this uh, project. Trailers for sale or rent, rooms to let 50 cents, no phone, no pool, no pets, ain't Got no cigarettes, ah, but two hours of pushing broom buys an eight for twelve four bedroom. I'm a man of means, by no means, king of the road. Third box car, midnight train, destination banger, main. Whoa, worn out suit and shoes. Don't pay no union dues I smoke old stogies I have found Short but not too big around I'm a man of means By no means King of the road I know every